gonna smoke me a fatty brisket. I got my barbecue shoes on. Gonna smoke me a fatty brisket. Welcome to Barbecue Pit Boys dot com. Today we're doing some barbecue sloppy joes at the pit, and it's real easy to do. All right, for this recipe, you're gonna need some ground beef. You're gonna need some seasoning. You're gonna need your favorite barbecue sauce, Worcestershire sauce. You're gonna need a little bit of beer or water. Here we've got some uh, onion powder. We've got some garlic powder. We've got some uh, yellow prepared mustard. We've got some brown sugar. And here we've got some chop. All right, let's show you how these uh, sloppy joes go together now. First thing you want to do with your ground beef, and use ground chuck if you can for better taste and flavor, you want to uh, season it up, right? So we're using some of our SPG seasoning. Use at least some salt and pepper. Uh, use what you got, all right? Mix it up a bit. Oh, man. And uh, we're going to make some burgers out of this. And of course, the easy way to do it is just make some giant amita balls first, right? And these will be about uh, one half pound a piece. Now, if you search online for the uh, Sloppy Joe recipes, a lot of them look just the same. They've got maybe 15 different ingredients. Maybe they're, uh, they almost look like chilies. That's not what the old school Sloppy Joes were. Mom came home from work or whatever, right? She threw these together, real simple, just a few ingredients. And boy, nothing like a sloppy joe, right? It was often better than uh, the main meals that mom was serving on the weekend or whatever. Right? I think you know what I mean. So this here is very basic sloppy joe, old school. All right, we're going to be using our uh, Santa Maria grill today. And we're just cleaning off the grate. And um, now, let's form these burgers. If you guys have been with us over the years, you know how to make a burger patty, right? So, but for those newbies who are not used to it, this is how you do it, right? From a half pound meatball right there, we're, we're um, forming these burgers, right? Get them to about the thickness you want, and then you shape the sides, a little bit of pressure, and they look real pretty. Oh, man. We're going to be eating good tonight, Martha. All right, the burgers are made, simple enough. And now we'll, um, we'll oil down the uh, grate on this. This is anodized aluminum on this particular model. And so we'll just throw some oil on there. And we're gonna sear these burgers, right? Both sides. We're not gonna cook them all the way through. We just want that sear flavor, that barbecue grilled flavor on these before we, uh, before we put our sloppy joe mix together. Now, of course, we can raise and lower this grate real easy. It's a grill that has a hundred different temp zones, right? Just raise and lower that grate. Simple enough. All right, a few minutes have gone by. We'll flip them. All right. Again, you just want to sear. Get all that good flavor in this, uh, in this ground meat, right? Now, if you've never had a uh, traditional sloppy joe before, you check it out. gonna be good all right these burgers are done medium rare even some rare on the inside we'll just put them aside get a get a cast iron pan and now we'll just throw them in right I think you get the picture where we're going with this I'm telling you there's nothing like a sloppy Joe and uh, will you break it down with our old hick? If you need to use a spoon, go right ahead. We got the food police out there. We go, you can't use a knife on a black iron pan. Yeah, you want to bet? All right, in goes the brown sugar, about six tablespoons. Here goes in the garlic powder, about one and a half teaspoons, one and a half teaspoons of onion powder. Uh, and there's about three pounds of ground beef there. Uh, that's a good, a good amount to start with, at least three pounds. Now we've got some chup, and um, that's about two cups. Here we've got some prepared mustard. 
about two tablespoons, right? Now we've got some uh, Worcestershire sauce. We'll throw in about two tablespoons as well. Now you can adjust these ingredients more or less to your uh, taste profile, whatever you're after. Now for this recipe, you're gonna need some barbecue sauce. Um, and uh, just about one cup, more or less, and use your favorite barbecue sauce, of course. Now we'll give it a good mix. Right. Can you smell that? It smells good and it's not even done yet. Now we're gonna add additional moisture and we're gonna choose beer. We're using a lager. We, um, a lager is a good choice, right? Add some moisture. Now, if you don't do the beer thing, of course, you can add water. And that's about three quarter cup. You know. All right, we'll add a little bit of additional seasoning. And we're gonna bring this up to simmer, right? So we're gonna break down the larger chunks of the burger in there, give it a good mix. All right, heat it up. Now, it shouldn't take more than um, Maybe 20 minutes to do, right? Just the way mom would do it. Oh, man. Simple enough. All right. Take a look at that. Yep. Right. Just keep working it, keep mixing it. And we'll just raise the grate a little bit, all right, to control the temperature. All right, about 20 minutes has gone by, more or less. And uh, we're going to uh, freshen up some buns. And we're using some uh, English muffin buns because we like it. I mean, you can use hamburg rolls. But if mom served them on English muffins, those sloppy joes were always better. All right, so we'll just freshen them up, toast them up. And the chickens are ready. They're getting hungry. <laughs> All right. The rolls have been uh, slightly toasted. And all we're going to use here is a little bit of butter. Butter on an English muffin is awesome. Uh, you could use mayo or whatever. That's not good. All right. I say it's pretty much time to eat. I'm just gonna load up a bunch of this sloppy joe mix right on these English muffins. Funny thing about English muffins, they're American muffins, but yeah, we call them English muffins. All right, now, as always, we do apologize for eating in front of you like this, but we call this pitmaster privilege. You're gonna have to make your own. And of course, we really appreciate your support over the years. If you can uh, give us a thumbs up, a shout out, uh, follow us, whatever. It means a lot to us. Hey, your mama would be proud. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com and this barbecue sloppy joke.